What is happening? It's the war again! How's it going, everyone? My name is Flip Ribbon, and welcome back to Disco Elysium. I told everybody that I was going to be doing this in the comments, but I don't know how many people read those things. Um, I felt bad uh, that I left this game. Like, kind of like, eh, that game's not for me. I'm good. Even though really everything about it speaks a lot to me. You know, being sad, being stinky, being desperate, being pathetic. You know, I get it, and I love it. And, and looking back, I don't know why I didn't give it more time, other than I feel like I wanted to play Pathologic more at the time, and I needed an excuse for that. But here we are again. From my understanding, the Zaum, or Zaum, whatever, however you say that, that company's going over some real dire straits, like hostile takeover kind of shit, and that is... Super unfortunate, so I don't want this series to be like like a thing like like I didn't just buy this game Okay, I bought this game a while ago like a year or so ago, and It's it's just been sitting here, and I wanted to revisit it And I'm gonna revisit it all the way from the beginning because I don't I, I mean I remember some things I know it's a murder mystery. I I, I remember Kim, you know, I, I remember What was his name? I don't know. I remember hobo cop. All right. I remember that just wanted to give it another shot so here we are. Um, alright, I got a selected archetype. Okay. Thinker, extremely intelligent, very bad with people. Knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas, very psychological, a magnetic personality, but unstable, might begin to lose his mind, sensitive. I do like that. Uh, physical, extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Um, or create your own. I'm gonna create my own. I, I know I did this last time and it took me entire too, entirely too long. So, how many how many points do I have? Oh, okay, I have to take some away. Alright, so I'm a genius in my physique. No, that is, I, I'm gonna put myself as weak. I'm, I'm gonna try and build myself. Uh, sensitivity, how emotionally intelligent you are. I'm average. Intellect, raw brain power. Also average. Here's the problem. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty much average in all of this. Uh, how agile you are. Uh, maybe good, you know? This is not a good guy. This guy is not going to get shit done in the slightest. Let's bring my psych down, because that's probably true. And let's bring my intellect up a little more. So I'm a, I'm a smart boy who's good with my hands, but I'm a little... I'm a weak boy. And, and you know, shit gets to me really fast. Okay, I got mad at Pikmin the other day. Okay, don't even get me started. Alright, signature skills. Alright, here we go. This is where it gets insane. Okay, so... I remember I like shivers. Uh, raise the hair on your neck. Tune into the city. But, yeah, okay, I want to choose ones that are, like, under my good skills, though. So we got logic, raw intellectual power, call upon all your knowledge. Uh, I, I think I put one in Encyclopedia last time. Waste. I, I think it was a waste of a perk, because it's kind of just, like, something that tells you about <laughs> lore of the world. Uh, reconstruct crime scenes, make laws of physics work for the law. Uh, see art in the world, play the actor, lie and detect lies, practice the art of persuasion, enjoy rigorous intellectual discourse. I like that one. I like rhetoric. Oh. That's a shame. I can only have one signature, huh? Well, shit, now I wanna think about this. I feel like this is what happened to me last time. Like, I made my character pretty much like this, and then I was like, oh, but all the cool ones are in the ones that I didn't choose. <laughs> but, uh... Let's see. Threaten people. <laughs> Let the body take control. Fantastic. We're gonna go with rhetoric. We're gonna go with rhetoric. Yes. Yes. I, I, I hope I didn't make a mistake. I know people told me last time in the comments of my first Disco Elysium uh, video what I should have chosen, but I don't remember. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water fuck should have read that. Let us begin. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. No, is there not? Your conscious ferments in it. Yeah. No larger than a single grain of malt. Yeah. You don't have to do anything anymore. Amazing. Thank you. Ever. <laughs> Thank never, you. Ever. Never, ever, ever. Never, ever, ever, baby. Oh, I can't wait. Simply keep on non-existing. An inordinate amount of time passes. 
Mm. It is only void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. All those ex-wives. Uh, this is great. Give me some more. What was that about the, the ex-something? An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Uh -huh. Soaking in some lurid acidic sauce, it's bloated and shameful. Of Does it taste ball good? Of meat surrounding you. Does the ball of meat taste this good? It's a terrible line of questioning, uh -huh. and it will only lead to more awareness uh, of the meat thing. Oh, the meat thing is my brain. Uh, I'd rather go back to the fathomless deep, please. There, <laughs> there. ball of meat. No light in the formless nothing. Who needs it? Just nice women. Yeah. I like nothing. I know you do, baby. I know. Don't call me baby. I don't like it. Uh, how about you cough up some more of that sweet oblivion? Coming right up, sir. Mm. Smooth passy. I mean, I gotta say, though, when you call me sir, I like it a lot. Uh, Allons-y, let's go! Uh, I wanna get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't wanna give them to me. You know, if I'm being honest, that is me. Uh, fuck it. Allons-y, let's go! Alright, nothing town to fuck all, Barack. Uh-huh. A return trip to the silence, please. Let's visit the ancient Zero home. Look, there's... I am tired of being this type of animal. And who gives a shit? I still don't understand. Um, how about the ancient Zero home? Great choice, Elder One. Thank you, but Elder One is even better. Place, and uh, it always will. Sweet. Uh, don't stop. Keep singing. Sing me the song of death. The song of death is sweet and endless. Nice. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meet around you. A sensation. You promised this wouldn't happen, ancient reptilian brain. I feel scammed. Like a fly to the ointment, your uh -huh. conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing. Dancing to disco music. <laughs> I love dancing to disco music menacingly. Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. Stop. I don't want to hear anything more about the sensation. Take me back to the formulas. Disembodied nothing. The stench of liquor rises you from your fuck. mouth. You fuck. Annoy with it. An <laughs> ungodly head. <laughs> Help! Someone! Cut my head off! It's trying to murder the rest of me! Who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? Fiery streak penetrates your I've skull, been there. <laughs> trying to force your eyes open. Uh -huh. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. It's just like Some the sound of air. Know what it is. A Caprice can name a motor carriage. Well, it's because I'm so fucking smart. <laughs> I even know the model. Like, that's, that's pretty big brain. Look at me. Big brain. Beautiful. God, this game really is gorgeous. It's like looking at a fucking painting. It's, it's like a Matisse painting. It's got a soothing face. I like looking at it. <laughs> that's too many BoJack references in my first, like, four or five videos on this channel. Alright. You just need a second, Harry? Harry? Henry? I think that's your name? Something like that? What do we got here? This magnum-sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Fantastic. What we got here? Eh. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Oh, damn. It must have been a bad song. This real, real tape player is still on. Rolling empty. Uh, rolling empty. You could call that my biography. This fan has two chain pull switches. Uh -huh. One ends in a tiny fan. The right. other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself <laughs> no, to truly one of the horrific necktie. Okay, I remember this. You can literally die right here, I think. Uh, I, I, I'll probably get it, right? Swoop up and catch nice. The Snipe. Snipe! It's released from the blade. What <laughs> Snipe, you have don't worry, don't worry. It's a nice and fucking time. nope at the same time. With four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Cool. Why would I do this anyway? 
Ah, eh, fuck it. Let's just leave. <laughs> I got I got what I wanted. Do I need my pants? Do I need my clothes? I don't need any of this. I don't need any of this shit. Fuck it. Uh, what do we got in my mind? That's what this is, right? Words fail to describe how rank it smells in here. Should have said to poet. I mean, the writers of this fucking game are a poet. Like, like that, that, I remember that was kind of one of my issues with it, but I think I just need to be more patient. Like, before I was really looking for a game, I could be like... <laughs> but now, now I'm much more willing to sit back and let someone else do the talking a little bit. <laughs> it's it's kind of nice. What the fuck did I just do? Cool. Something, I'm sure. <laughs> nice die. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. Yes, indeed. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. The masculine energy Hot water is so is powerful. From the base, and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself; just the outline of a man. Oh. Suddenly, <laughs> you so realize sad. you have no memory of the face that awaits you there. Damn! Underneath the soft vapor. <laughs> That's almost as scary as me forgetting my fucking phone passcode as I'm driving down the street, and I'm like, how how do I open my phone? What the fuck is wrong with my brain? Uh, really? Nothing. Wipe the mirror. No way I'm doing this. Uh, wipe the As mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Uh -huh. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. <laughs> have I not? You won't like what you see there. Why? And you will never unbecome it. What are you talking about? I don't care. Still wipe the mirror. Maybe I should touch it first. Make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Mm, better not to know. Uh, let's touch my face. Yeah. There is definitely something wrong with it. But how bad could it be? Where to even begin? Uh huh. There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. Kind it's of like the same there's thing. An upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. Yeah, that's quite disturbing. Oh yeah, I forgot my portrait over here. It's pretty, pretty disturbing. All right, I'm sure everything's fine. Touch your nose. At least my tongue is okay. Touch your tongue. I'm scared. I want to stop doing this. Uh, touch my tongue. It's not. Mm. It's swollen and snail-like. Snail-like. Wriggling between your fingers. Oh, uh, how about my nose? It's not. <laughs> your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. What's well, stop honking it? It's not tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. <sighs> Just wipe the mirror. But, but, but I kind of am scared. The way the game is framing it, it's like this is the most important decision of my life. Just wipe hey, the honk. fucking mirror. You're beautiful. Okay, you're not as beautiful from down here. You're much more pretty up here. All right, not gonna lie. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Uh, of course I do. It's um, some kind of superstar. I think I'm a superstar. It appears you're also dead. Oh, there's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, is that, is that an expression? Yes. Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Wow. Why? I think it might be because I'm a superstar. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. <laughs> this is me in the, in the mirror with myself. Uh, no, this is what superstars do. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. Right. You've worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. Uh -huh. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? <laughs> Superstardom. Just double down. God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it meant, it's meant for the ladies. I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think it's sort of pulling it off too, in a sad has been kind of way. There is some charm to it. It's an expression of pain. <laughs> Superstar. You should check yourself for a pulse, superstar. From here, it looks like a cadaver. no. Uh, 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 yeah, check for you a find pulse. No sign of life on your swollen neck. Oh, good. However. Putting your hand on your chest reveals an irregular heartbeat. Nice. You appear to be alive. For now. Well, nice. Uh, dig deep into your mind to lo locate the source of the expression. Attempt to stop the expression from happening. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, yeah, I can't. I can't fail things too often. Because it hurts my, like, psyche. Alright, let the mirror be for now. Let it be for now. I still think it was the right decision. You look gorgeous. There's nothing to even regret. Really wish I could move faster. Uh, what, what, what do I got in my bag here? Yeah, I got something in a bag, right? Yeah, just my necktie. Hor horrific necktie. Plus one Inland Empire. That's such a cool name for a fucking trait, Inland Empire. I mean, surely I need my pants and such before I leave, right? 
I mean, I can't just go. Hello, 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 hello. Holla holla. You must value privacy. The door has been locked from the inside. Well, that's quite the shame, isn't it? Oh, there's like a window. Oh, pants! Pants! Alright, I just need to use this more often so I can see what I actually can interact with. A shirt. Uh, how do I interact with my... You hear it, there Jingle. we go. Ooh. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cup. Fuck pants. yeah, fish them out! It says, whirling in rags on the Noise. aluminium key ring. Aluminium. There is a single key on the ring. <laughs> Sorry. The number one is <laughs> my American ass. All right, uh, uh, sounds good. Uh, let's look at the let's look at the window. The window stands broken in its frame. Right. Cold wind blows in. Visual calculus. I'm a genius, motherfucker. The shards nice. Face <laughs> outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break it with my own hands? A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand. Very but none good. Of it is recent. Uh oh, my alarm is going off. Shut your mouth! There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Wait, what am I doing? Assess the size of it the impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. Uh huh. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Like a. Like a bottle? Like the green shoe that's uh, on the hat rack in the corner, which, right. coincidentally, is missing its friend. That it is. Congratulations. <laughs> you smashed the window with your own shoe. Nice. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, Gangster. you can still find the other on the balcony outside. All right. The door to it should be outside your room. Uh, I don't need it. I don't need anyone. <laughs> I should go and get that shoe. Maybe it you wasn't me, Ted Bundy. Took your shoe off and smashed the window with it? This yes. person also forced the drinks on you. Yes. I, I should go and get that shit. cool wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. Great. All right. Just another reminder of how I'm shoeless, baby. I get it. All right. Let me grab my shoe. Let me grab my shoe. Take the shoe. Uh, any Anything else in here? I don't think so. We got something in here. Uh, find your other shoe. Seems like a green snake shoe. Snake 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 shoe is missing its partner. You should find it before you go venturing into the wild unknown. Two shoes are better than one. Unite them again. All right. <laughs> I can do that. Just call me the shoe man. Nice. We can run now. Uh, step in. Step on Kendra. Nine degrees centigrade. Mm. Weather. I love it. There's something on the table. Uh huh. Take it. Money. I Hello, it. officer. Oh, the young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. All right. Her eyes are brown, and her face is speckled with birth. Perception. Marks. I have she great can't perception. Be more than Twenty-eight. Yeah, officer. My military personnel. Uh, no. She seems perplexed by your question. Wait. I know. I'm a businessman, chief executive officer, right? Then why did you call me an officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. <laughs> she pulls out her cigarette. Are you sure? You're shitting me. Goddamn right I'm a policeman. And don't you forget it. You're shitting me. I'm not. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. She takes another drag. All this time? You've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. Mm-hmm. And, uh... What business is that? Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. That's fair. <laughs> Try the expression on her. Let her know you want her. Physically. Uh, who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Why don't I remember being a cop? Or anything else? Uh, why don't I remember these things? Could it be because of the drinking? She raises an eyebrow. The cigarette sizzles. She hasn't had time to put her makeup on. Oh. This is her morning Very cigarette. Perceptive. She looks tired. Her beauty waning faster than it ought to at her age. Wow, perception. That's fucking mean. Uh, who would let me be an officer of the Don't law? Don't be so harsh on yourself. <laughs> they let almost anyone be a police officer. That's very true. Well, of course. I should get going now. She puts out her be cigarette. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. All right. Whatever you say, Clash. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Oh, really? Call it an instinct, a need. The need to ask questions. I'm a detective. Like said the words a million times before. Oh, really? She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Uh, before you go, I have some questions for you. Yes? Uh, what is it they have against the police here? Where exactly is here? Where am I? Tell me what year it is. The room is almost next to mine. 
Did you hear anything last night? There was the usual ruckus. She shrugs. Loud disco music. Did I have any visitors? I couldn't say. It's impossible Thanks. to hear people speaking from over here. She nods toward room number three. Uh, loud disco music? Oh, uh, yes. Various artists. Yeah. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. That's a great band name. She raises an eyebrow, waiting for the name to connect with you. Oh, that. Yeah. Whoa. The less said about OO, -O, <laughs> the better. Why, Encyclopedia? I would really like this oh, knowledge. Oh, huge, where I come from. Oh, I see. I was very young then, of course. Like, seven. Mm -hmm. Life gets hard, but we go on. Nice. Yeah, we go on, all right. Most of it just gets hard, doesn't it? It would appear so. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped and there was a change of pace. What happened? A slow, sad song started playing. Like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time, you were yelling along to it. It's <laughs> pathologic, like... Dun 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 Uh, what was I singing? I've heard enough. Well, what was I singing? That it doesn't matter anymore and that we're well, alone now. I think we're alone It was difficult now. to tell. The it song itself was very quiet and soft, alone. but you sounded like a wounded boar, sir. No. It was hard to understand what you were sir. singing on top of it. Well, I'm sorry. When you say wounded, do you mean that in a cool way? Like a wild beast? Uh, then what happened? Then you started screaming and trashed the place. That's so me. <laughs> what did I do? You're making this up. I would never behave like that. That's so me. What did I do next? A window was smashed. The tape player, probably. The song stopped. And mm. furniture, too. A real destructathon. Destructathon? I was screaming. <laughs> then I think uh, you passed out. Hmm. Well, was there anything else? Please tell me there wasn't anything else. It prides me to hear this. Tell me there was more. Um, please tell me there wasn't anything else. There was. Oh my god. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. <laughs> That's right. I may yeah. have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. Yeah, it's because my brain was kind of going through a thing where it was going back to the primordial age. I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. She nods. And that was it. Well, nice. All right, cool. Uh, you can go Glad now. to have been of assistance. You're, yeah, thank you. You, you. I could have spent all day talking to you. That's another thing. That, that was hard with this game. Like, I really wanted to play all of it and see all of it, but God, episodes were, like, very long because things like this happen a lot of times, and I'm not even out of the goddamn first screen of the game. But it really goes to show how amazingly written it is. Like, it, it's got so much going on. This is the weekend edition of the satirical, satirical newspaper, Trompe Le Monde. Uh, I wish I knew France, because then I would probably understand why Trompe Le Monde is so important. Uh, what is this? Nothing on the front page rings a bell. Strange. You have amnesia, my friend. Nothing, nothing strange about it. Oh, it's Kim. Look at him go. It's my best friend, but we don't even know each other. Nope, but we your brothers. <laughs> I saw from across the room and I had to say hello. Yeah, but first I'm gonna sing some karaoke, yeah. Even though I don't think I can. Shit. A big old karaoke mic. Just waiting for someone to sing into it. This is where the lyrics would be. Yes, indeed. I is this a speaker? It's very thin. The speaker is connected to the radio. The music is seasoned with static. You should totally sing karaoke here. I know. First chance to get. <laughs> yep. Your emotions need to be expressed. I agree. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. Literally could not agree more. Uh, and my soul is immense. My soul is modest. Normal sized. Uh, my soul is immense. Utterly. Yes. And it needs to be heard. I agree. Through a PA system. Yes. By other people. Preferably everyone. Uh, this goes well with a theory I'm developing. That I'm a down on my luck superstar person. Who is mistakenly identified as a cop for his prominent jawline. Exactly. Yes. Sounds likely. I know. I'm you basically Brad Pitt. You should go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. See if it works. Hmm. This goes, uh, uh, what should I sing when it comes to it? You should sing the sad, slow song you were listening to last night. Thought it was obvious. Well, of course. They'll really get a gauge on my soul with that one. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy. Like from those ostentatious orchestra orchestrations folks. Um... Yeah, in the last time I did this, I, I, they called me a wild beast, and, um, 
I trashed the place? I, what if I did a different song? No, no. Don't sing the happy song. It's but, stupid. But Sing the sad song. But it, It's profound. But nobody likes it. You have it. to find out how the song goes first, though. Yeah. Maybe a tape of something appropriate would help. Okay. Well, I will finish that thought, and I will sing karaoke, damn it. What's up? I forgot your a name. Man in his late um, 20s I remember stands you now. behind the counter, uh -huh. inspecting a stuffed seabird. As What's you good? approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Look at the stuffed bird. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Well, aren't you a regular doctor? Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. Oh. Most likely on a wall. Sorry. This is the rescuer. <laughs> the seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola. Gotcha. The part of the world you are in right now. Sounds the good. The small steel tag says as much. The great skewer. Sweet. Stratocorius uh, skewer. So crazy. Your encyclopedia and your perception catches on to the same thing. Uh, uh, that's the great skewer, right? <laughs> Look, your buddy is over there. He looks at the doors, where a man in the palmer jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? Uh, what do you mean, my buddy? He pretends not to hear you. Concentrating on the bird instead. Fucker. <laughs> Screw you, Gart. I, I remember you. If I keep talking to you, you're gonna make me uh, give you money. The soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. Hell yeah. This is a water cooler. A large bubble is rising to the surface. Rad. The menu has been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. Curious. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, a woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today's starts in a man's handwriting. God, you're just so fucking observant, you know that man? And this is after you were hung over? I'm not half this observant just being alive. The door is bolted. The sign reads, kitchen reserved for personnel until 1300. Fantastic. What do we, what do we got here? Inside, you catch a glimpse of union paraphernalia. Strike poster, some red pennants. Cool. The sign reads, mess hall reserved for union members. Doors open, 1600. I like the union members. I do like me some union, baby. Anything, anything over here? Like, look at? Right here, I can actually just use this, right? Anything else? No. No, let's go talk to Kim. Gimme! Gimme! What's a going on? Man in an orange bomber jacket up is tapping his foot what a on great the floor. way to describe someone Looks who's wearing, like he's wearing waiting glasses. For someone. You. Yes, indeed. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. Sup, on the dog? sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back, are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. <laughs> the cops are just rectangles. All right, shake his hand. I'm Kim Kitsuragi. His grip is firm. Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. Uh, yeah, I must you be. realize he's waiting for your name. Uh, invent a name for myself. Try your best, you got this! Concentration. Fuck yeah! Squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange. Like a forest fire looming on the horizon. But mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. Well, that was a bait and switch. Uh, it is not yet time. Okay, <laughs> then. <laughs> he processes the information, then disregards it. It looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time Sorry. to go to the manager here? Uh, yeah, what a little he bit. Means is he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. Ah, uh, you mean him? Not toward the cafeteria manager. Yeah, just talk to him. No, I haven't. There must be some kind of misunderstanding. You're taking me for someone else. Uh, yeah, just if talk you don't to him. Mind, we should talk to him again. Yeah, Ask him for a rundown of the area. He's gonna make Not that me... I'm here as well. He's gonna make me I understand the scene is out back, right? Uh, it also wouldn't hurt to assure yes. him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Uh -huh. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Uh, yes, the police. I am aware I am a policeman. <laughs> that's, that's literally how this feels with him just like dumping all this. Uh, policeman. Right. And the interviews? He taps his foot. More out of habit than impatience. Uh, I haven't. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Alright, cool. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? 
uh, look, man, you know. Yeah. Does that mean the body is no longer in the tree? No. So <laughs> the body is still in the tree. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. But it's obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. Yeah, of course. It has been hanging for seven days straight. Jesus. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Okay, uh, what if I told you I'm not really a police officer? We all feel that way sometimes. <laughs> there is no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. Really? What remains is that there is a dead body in the tree. Someone has to figure out who put it there. If we don't, no one else will. I guess that's a philosophical way to and look then, at it. Soon after, dead bodies would be dangling from all the trees. Is that logic? <laughs> I don't know if that's logic, but fair but enough. First, we have to take it down. He concludes. What if I... Okay, how can you be so sure I'm from the police? But I can't remember anything. What were we supposed to do again? Let's get moving. After you, officer. All right. If you're about uh, to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Probably. Uh, wait, shouldn't I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? Uh, it wasn't on me when I woke Losing up. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. Well, shit. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. Go. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. All but right. getting the body down should still take precedence. You got it. Kitsuragi is now in mm -hmm. your party. Thanks, you Tutorial can talk to Agent. You him whenever by interacting with him. Thanks. <laughs> you you sound very nice and sweet. Okay. So do I talk to Gart first, or do I? Or do I? All right. So interview the cafeteria manager, inspect the body, report your badge missing. Okay. Let's do body badge missing. Gart. Because fuck Gart. Gart's a little piece of shit. Alright, up here. I know the body's this way. Well, what? what God, yeah, there's so much shit to read, though. Uh, Rue de saint Galen, 8B. God, Galen is a cursed name now. There are bottles inside. You could pick them up if you had a bag. Hell yeah, I can't wait to get a bag and explore the world. God, it's so pretty. It really takes the, like, art style of an isometric RPG to a whole different fucking level. Like, especially playing Fallout 2 to contrast, because they're both basically, like, the same-ish type of thing. Like, at least in terms of art style, it's just this has 30 years on Fallout 2. Uh, the letter R wears a crown. On the ribbon below, a light above descending. Cool. That sounds cultish. Yeah, Kuno, fuck him up! Oh, God. That's this right. trash container <laughs> is locked. Uh -huh. The sliding lid, as a pad right. says. Yes, yes, I remember. I need the key or something, question mark. All right, uh, kids, body, tree. What? What's this? Smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. A human being decomposes. What do we got over here? Bunch of real, some magnesium. Oh, some milk of magnesia. Some milk of the puppy. Someone's trying to grow some herbs in the greenhouse. Everyone makes that joke. The switch mechanism has been oxidizing for some years. Wow. You can you just said rusting. Had to say oxidizing. What a big brained asshole you are. The kid's ladder is rickety, but still climbable. Alright, look at the body. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. Uh -huh. The face around them does not look human. No. It's swollen and ready to burst. Right. His lips are fish like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. Right. You seem to be holding your breath. Uh, look down. The cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. Yeah, the smell I mean, seeps in seven even days. through your clenched nostrils. God, what is that? Why is it so bad? Let go of your nose without throwing up. What is that? Yeah, the lieutenant raises a white piece of linen to his nose. No one is judging. He's um, about to blow! Cops gonna blow, Kuno! Well, fuck you, Kun Kuno Ease. Why is it Kuno and Kuno Ease? God, it's so weird to me. What up? What up, you little Kuno's shit? Got this. The boy's throwing rocks at the dead body. Throwing rocks at the dead body. He can't be older than twelve. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, there are then many. This is it. Right. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, <laughs> he sure like a is. gremlin. Yeah. Oh, yeah! The fuck did you just say? Yells the other kid behind the fence. Hey kid, a word. Police business. A moment of your time, please. Uh, uh, a moment of your time, please. Can't talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. Uh-huh. 
Shit coming up strong. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> Joyous. Yeah. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. <laughs> juicy what now? On drugs. The oh. kid's on drugs. Oh my god. Yeah, Kuno, I see. Ride the lightning, Kuno. Ride <laughs> right, the lightning. He wipes sweat from his brow and sends another rock flying. The rake, Kuno. What you about it? Throw the rake at him, Kuno. The fuck oh, yeah. does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. <laughs> Doesn't know what a rake is, Kim. What should we do? Are you kids siblings? Kid, you want to hang out? I'm not a narc. Look, I have questions for you. I'm not a narc. Fuck no. Kuno doesn't buy that shit. Fucking entrapment shit. So you don't know what a rake is, but you know what entrapment Fuck. is. This kid has got street smarts. Yeah, it's very true. Yeah. You kid siblings? What the are you talking about? He throws another rock. Calling us Kuno. Think we're fucking each other. I have questions for All you. Alright, <laughs> entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. It's like a what rat. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. Uh, I want to fucking like string you up. Fast. The body. What do you know about it? About the crime scene. You kids often play in this yard. Sorry, I'm jiggling around with my ear so much. It feels weird. I gotta ask. Who is Kuno? Kuno's Kuno pig? The boy points to his chest with both thumbs. It's always Kuno. Never. Mm -hmm. I. Right. Clearly, the kid's using the third-person perspective as a shield. Yes. Interesting. You refer to yourself in the third person to distance yourself from the situation. <laughs> Dr. Phil. Uh, so you refer yourself in the third person? Kuno. Is that some kind of gang name? Got it. And another question. A gang yeah. name? Kuno's in a fucking gang. Oh, like yeah? Bang gang. Bang Kuno gang. Bangs for Magie. Bangs nice. for Mazda. Bangs for Revachol. Nice. Oh, Kuno, he's trying to fiddle you. He's gonna put his hands on you! The thing behind the fence starts squealing, shrill and violent, like a fire alarm. Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Rape! Jesus, the sound gets louder as the child shouts at the windows overlooking the yard. Help! He's got the Kuno help! Oh my god. Everyone can hear. You need to get the hell out of here before. Just answer the questions. Help! He's digging his dick out! Oh god damn it! Jesus. Today in Kuno, somebody please. It's full blast now. The wind carries the message far and wide across Martinet. How did we get here? <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> this makes no sense. There may still be a way out. Just appeal to his reason. Be logical, kid. I haven't done anything to you. What is this sick charade? Who put you up to this? Are you high right now? Help! Mister's help! He branches around, eyes bulging out of their sockets, rolling hard, yelling at the windows. He's flashing Kuno! He's showing his genitals! If you don't help Kuno now, it'll be too late! Be logical, kid. I haven't done anything to you. Fucking logical! <laughs> help! <laughs> the biggest fiddling Kuno! Jesus Christ, what is this sick charade? No! <laughs> the boy screams, his freckled Get face contorted in hideous, uncontainable boy. laughter. The nearly psychopathic way they can slip in and out of the act implies you're not the first victim. Who put you up to this? No one. He Kuno whispers suddenly. Because he likes it, pig. Uh huh. This is where Kuno establishes dominance over you. Is it though? Like Change it... The plan. You can't let that happen. Yes. It will make yes. Hard Rhetoric. Hard. Here we go. You may end up missing crucial information. Exactly. Help! Someone put you up to this. You put him up to this yourself when you decided to talk to him in the first place. <laughs> Fuck you, Kim! There's nothing else I can do! Listen to your f friend. Kudo hucks a loogie on the ground. The phlegm is yellowish and bubbling somehow. The guard put you up to this. Kim, did you do this? Yeah, we're all in this together! <laughs> the little one hisses with glee. Losing it. Yes! The lieutenant doesn't even shrug. RCM is trying to fuck us! There's no way to get through this. Okay, someone Listen put you up to, to this. Your... Uh, Gart put you up to this. Owned the fat ass. He whispers. Help! The RCM is trying to fuck Kuno! Hang on! You... Listen no one put you up to this. God. <laughs> the RCM is trying to fuck Kuno in the ass! Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done! You didn't shut him down. No. Your fat fist didn't meet its target. No. Instead, 
It pulled you down with it. <laughs> Say nothing. Try to hold it together. Pig's trying not to cry. <laughs> Kuno can't believe this shit. Jesus Can Christ. Can no one stop the Kuno? <laughs> Pig, Kuno thought like you had the this. The what biggest, happened? baddest son Kuno of a bitch to ever live. Now. He's writhing with joy. Like, the power you gave him is too much to take. Fuck your shoulder. Fuck Jesus you. Christ. Fuck <laughs> the one behind the fence hisses like a lit fuse. Kim, help me. No. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Yeah, laugh it up. Let's just get back to it. <laughs> so stupid. God damn it. I knew it wouldn't work. Why'd I even try? <laughs> You did not! I beat the shit out of myself, you little fuck! Your fucking knee off. I told you not to tempt such forces. You did not! You sat there saying nothing and doing nothing, Kim. That is not doing something. The annoyance in his voice is directed at you, not the gremlins. Now, how about we go and do something worth the public's time? Well, why don't you do it, you little fuck? You little shit! You there condescending ass clown! Okay, right. No, you know what, cuz... Anyway, I go about this, Kim. You know what? You're just gonna call me a little ugly yes. shit. I think you should know that I don't remember anything. No response. He just arches his brow. Mm -hmm. He's having trouble processing it. Believing it even. Okay. Forget it! A moment passes. <laughs> the lieutenant glances at the sports watch on his... <laughs> just fuck you, Kim. <laughs> what do we got? The ladder for kids. It wouldn't hold the weight of a grown man. God damn it. Just there, just throw up, is. god damn it. Look Fuck on. it. The smell is repulsive. I know. It pushes in from your mouth. Huh. More instant and more familiar than anything you'd expected. Yep. More <laughs> fever than odor. It fills your mind. Right. Flushing you from within. Yep. Life is pain. Everything is suffering. Try to walk away. Oh. Great. Good. Great. Nicely done. Very good. Too Very late. Good. It's impossible to keep in. No. Your yes. body curls and pushes it out. Of course. Burst by burst. Sounds about until right. a pool of vomit lies under your feet, and your throat stings from the stomach acid. Yep. The smell <laughs> of Commodore Red rises from the pool. Among it, oh, is still spirit <laughs> and bits I healed my morale from that. God. It's okay. Oh, Happens I accidentally pressed the button. Keep it. That's okay. All right. Thanks. You know what? I don't need your pity. It's not pity. Uh -huh. You should wipe your mouth after vomiting. That's true. You pockets the handkerchief. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. Yeah, the you sweatiness is too. To clear your head. Think ammonia would help? Okay. Where would we get ammonia from? There is Frit nearby. East of With the three D's. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't... He points to the greenhouse. There's a greenhouse here, and All a gardener right. with a wheelbarrow... Sorry, I'm bumping everything. ...whirling in rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Okay. Mm. Pretty clever. It's pretty clever, Acquiring girl. ammonia will provide a modifier to the wipe check. Modifiers mm. make checks easier and allow you to retry them. Gotcha. All right, cool. Sounds good. <sighs> Why did I tempt the Kuno? Why am I continuing Look, see, to take the, the Kuno? It's the fucking wall pig. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to continue. Jesus Christ. Speechless. I mean, but 10 out of 10. Like, Jesus Christ. This game has such a fucking voice for itself. It's ridiculous. Uh, get ammonia from the gardener or the fritz store. It'll make it easier. All right. Sounds good. What do we got here? Uh, hey, hey. <laughs> a, 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 oh. a matrix of push buttons lists all the uh, What about the pinball? Silence. No one answers your call. Nobody's in pinball. What about the empty this card? This button looks new, but someone has removed the name card. Nothing happens when you try to ring it. Huh. Weird. This button looks new. It's probably not connected yet. He takes a step back, inspecting the other names on the list. Lots of names. Andrew Orlando, Hair, SCA, Main Hall, Artemis Heps Boxing for Young Athletes, 24-Hour Window, Amethyst Fashion Atelier. All right, off we leave. <laughs> I don't got time to fucking talk to all those goddamn things. This book has a rose, a pistol, and a half-naked dame on its cover. A dame, you say? On the cover stands a very muscular man, surrounded by flames. Is my head just doing 
strange conniptions. I think it was. That's fine. Let's uh try to find the gardener. I think she's just yeah, she's just over here. Uh what what? A heap of snow melts in this wheelbarrow. What's up, gardener? The RCM in Martinez. Yes indeed. What the young can woman I help looks you up with? at you. Uh I have some questions for you. What can I help you with? My partner told me you may have some ammonia. Can I have some? Sure. I'm done with it. Thanks. <laughs> she takes a small capsule out of her breast pocket and hands it to you. Go easy on that stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. Cool. Of you gotta course, run. I won't hold you back. She wipes her brow with a yellow cold, canary glove. Then you're going canary to yellow need glove. those gloves for the autopsy. Uh, one more thing. Can I borrow your gloves? Sure. Keep <laughs> them. I have another pair. Dead ass. She hands you the rubber gloves with no visible annoyance. What a goddamn gangster. All right. Uh, gloves. Gloves. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Plus one interfacing. Oh, should probably use the you radio, stand, right? Vapor yeah, yeah, this vapor must and all be that. The infernal machine that toy from oblivion. Right, the open the door. Cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Fantastic. A scent of leather uh, pick up the radio. frequency tableau lights up, and a green button labeled Prime Line glows mm. like a feline eye. Feline eye. And then eye. you hear something. Do I know? The soft purr of electrical kittens. Electrical radio kittens. waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. It kind of reminds me of a Herb's book in Bojack Horseman. The summer in 1830s America was fresh with the flowers of laughter and the smoke of adventure. <laughs> and Princess Carolyn's like, what? <laughs> but a woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Hello. How may I assist you? Uh, Hello, I lost please. my badge. <laughs> please assist our colleague from the 41st precinct here. I'm putting him on. I'm, I'm already on. Operating the radio is easy. Just be confident. You've probably <laughs> done it a thousand times. Come in, Delta 10. This is Firewalker. Copy. This is Officer Alice Dimitri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? You could swear she was friendlier with the lieutenant. Under the green prime line, a yellow saved button catches your eye. You wonder what the lieutenant's default radio station is. Uh, ignore Alice and press the button labeled save. As always, it's DJ Mesh and Felicio. Nice. And you're listening to Three <laughs> The hottest, the nastiest, the most vulgar. A flock nice. of seagulls takes off nearby, startled by the roaring <laughs> radio. Right away, the lieutenant reaches into the cabin and turns off the radio. He's not looking at you. As he says, someone must have been messing with the radio or mm -hmm. maybe picked up a random frequency. Sure. You wanted the prime line, right? Speed Freaks FM, huh? Sorry about it. I wanted to contact the dispatch. <laughs> Speed Freaks. A Kim. Oh, uh, is that what it was called? He's trying to act surprised. Go for it. Turn the radio back off <laughs> while it's still on the Speed Freaks FM. Pick up the radio again. Soaked up motor carriage for one bad, bad mama's boy. <laughs> Your foot and the freaky arm. God damn it. The lieutenant moves quick as a viper as he switches off the radio and sets it up for the prime line. Then he turns to you. Look, it helps me to stay alert on long nights, okay? It's a matter. Does it? I'm not yeah, some sure. kind of speed freak or... Sure. He shakes his head, furiously staring at his feet. What about heavy of foot? You would be too if you had this motor carriage. He snaps, half seriously. But seriously, <laughs> let's quit joking around, all right? We have a case to investigate. True that. He turns back to the cabin. This is Precinct 57. Uh, I have something to report. Just a second, officer. All right, she puts you on hold, the static crackling softly like a bonfire. After a while, you hear an old man greet you from the radio. His rattly voice is oddly familiar. Ten, two, ten, this is for looks so first, depressed. Uh, come in, uh, over. Yeah, what's up, Jules Pedro? The man uses relay code. You've got this. You're a cop. Sure. And cops know relay code. Absolutely. Ted 4, Station 41. I've got an urgent business over. 10 4, message received. 10 5, relay message. What's your status? Over. Uh, just reporting in. Over. 10 18, state your message, sir. Uh, I need to report my uh, badge missing. 10 9, over. Uh, my, my badge. I can't find it anywhere. Basically, it's gone. 10 4, message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to 1022 the captain. 1022, of course. Is it him? <laughs> what does he want? A dry voice asks in the background. He lost his badge and needs to report it. Yes, indeed. He what? He lost his badge? Uh, um, Who lost his badge? 
<laughs> God damn it. Fucking Mullen. Who do you think? Ah, it's me, Dick Mullen. It's Officer Dick Mullen from the bestseller Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. He says fighting off laughter. Dick Mullen is not your name. <laughs> it's the name of a fictional detective. I remember this. I remember this for Defend sure. Yourself. Can't we just move on? I want it to be reported and be done with it. Then for I hear you, officer. I'm All going right. to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Thank you. Fuck me. Max, come here. You've got to hear this. Dick <laughs> Fuck Mullen you, fucking badge. carrot top looking What's ass. Going on? Fucking Vin Diesel. Superstar. Alright, super fresh. Uh, he lost his goddamn fucking badge. Uh, guy, could you all please just stop saying lost his badge for a moment? En enough with this now. I have other things After to discuss. Nine, come again. No, you didn't get that. Over. The animated conversation in the back is making it difficult difficult for him to hear you. New heights even for Captain Sober. Shut Ask the him. Fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> the speaker gasps for air. The room roars with laughter. I... I did lose him. Sergeant Orson wants to know if you lost your gun to Over. Check your pockets. Check your... Holy fuck. You don't know where it is, do you? I don't no. have my gun! It's gone. It's not fucking on you. Of course not. Captain 9, come in, officer. Did you get my uh, question? Uh, we were wondering about your gun. Over. Yes, 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 Lying I have it. Yes, phone, fuck yeah. It's easy. Just say it like it's the truth. Yeah. And then it becomes it. That easy. No, of course I didn't lose my gun. Yes, you didn't. Thank God for that. Yeah. That would have been a nightmare. Truly. I don't even want to imagine the poor prick who has to relay that kind of news to the captain. Truly. Losing his badge is bad enough. Tell him to find it and fast. We can't have some gangbanger running around with it. Gangbanger. We're glad to hear you've not lost your gun, officer. You need further assistance. Over. All right. I'll end the call. Roger that. Ten ten. Over. All right. Out. See you later, guys. Just need to report that. All right. Well, did that update then? Uh, track down your badge. It's unclear how you should go about finding a tiny piece of plastic in a world as huge as this. People will just stumble across it. Down the line. Miracles happen. I agree. Uh, track down your gun. All right. Seems like I've got more to do than I've ever had before. Oh, yeah. Where's my uh, shoe? Should be on the balcony. All right. Hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find my shoe. I'm going to find my shoe real quick. Shoe, 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 shoe. What? A gust of briny wind washes over you. Very nice. Love it. Take my shoe. Green snake shins, shoes acquired. The smell of the sea makes it easy. There they both are. Oh. Two identical shoes. Yes, indeed. Both copiously green mm -hmm. and indiscriminately snakeskin. Damn right. United on your feet. Hell like yeah. Two baby crocodiles. Hell yeah. Uh, how do they fit? Good. They're balanced. Ooh, Comfy. Nice. Mm -hmm. Feels like the only good thing about you right now. Truth be told. Well, thanks. That's a, that's a bittersweet comfort, isn't it? So less savoir-faire. All right, all right. <laughs> less savoir-faire. God, my savoir-faire is really, really low, isn't it? Let me see. Yeah, it's two. That's not good. I feel like I want it to be better than that. Should I run around with no pants? I feel like I'm gonna run around with no pants. I feel like that's my life right now. I can keep the Espirit Decor, though. Like, yeah. I, I just can't- I can't take that- that hit. Fuck it. Here we go. And then, let's get this body down, and then I'm gonna have to end the- uh, the episode here. I'm sorry I've been, like, pretty quiet as well through all of this. It's, uh, you know, the, the game doesn't give you a lot of, uh, a Looking lot of opportunity right to not, like, uh, eyes. The you know, body below to, is to, 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 to talk, you know what I'm saying? Worse. Yeah, the combination forces yeah. tears out of your ducts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you of course it does. You keep it in once. Yeah. The second time, yeah, all right, I get, I get it. We're puking, we're just puking over and over again. I really thought the ammonia would let me get it down. I forgot about this. It's fine. Nice. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, the ammonia didn't help at all. How does the wind right now? You feel the lieutenant pat your back rhythmically. I've seen strong men turn themselves inside out for hours. You are facing tough odds here. Alcohol withdrawal makes it considerably harder. <sighs> all right, um... Do it without me. I just can't keep it down. No. This is a two-man assignment because it needs two officers to complete. Well, isn't I that convenient? 
<laughs> he withdraws his head and looks you in the you eye. You need to get your shit together. Okay, shake your head. No, but I don't want to get my shit together. My shit already is together. Okay. We should go talk to the locals. <laughs> Volumetric shit to compressor. The wind changes. It's All right. pretty bad right now. All right. You've Sounds gained a good. thought. When wow. this dialogue is over, go to your thought cabinet and internalize it for special bonuses and effects. All right. Give it half an hour. Get right. you. Okay. I'll give it half an hour, Kim. Just, God, I really need to, like, train my brain to be a bit more patient with this game because it is hard for me. Like, like, there's just so much talking and I don't know how to add to it. I don't know where my input lies. Like, really, this game more than any other, I am just, like, a narrator. Like, absolutely. I'm, I, but, but I kind of like it. I just need to train myself to be okay with that. And, 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 uh, and to discuss my takes outside here while I'm running around exploring the world and such. Oh, what, what was that thought? What was that thought? Don't leave me hanging. Yep, come on. The book is titled Man from Hame Helldoll in the Wildfire. Very nice. But I'm going to have to end this episode here. I am sweaty as all get up. Otherwise, I really would keep going. I wanted it to be like a really long first episode. Um, let me know how much you want me as well. Like, I went really in depth with it this first one doing everything over again. But let me know if you want me to like skip over stuff I've already seen. I mean, I don't remember a lot. So it might be worth like seeing it again. But just let me know. And if you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you want in the world. Have an amazing day. I'm me. You're you. So, peace out.